When you buy old hardware, you sometimes don't know what you will get until you actually try to use it. Many components were not designed to last for decades. And while some may just require proper cleaning, others are broken beyond repair. But that doesn't mean that you're out of the woods if you get something that can be repaired. For an older video, I ordered Dallas real-time clock modules. The original module of an ASUS mainboard was no longer working because after 20 years, the internal battery finally gave up. And because I wanted to keep the authentic look of the motherboard, I didn't get a modern drop-in replacement. Unfortunately, half of the modules I received didn't work because of empty internal batteries. And to add insult to injury, all of them had badly scratched surfaces. Maybe you're aware of the saying, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I used that opportunity to open one of the dead RTC modules. Check out the video if you're interested what's inside. Anyway, back to our main topic. I am a bit skeptical about this gigabyte board. Half of the capacitors are either leaking or about to break open. Nevertheless, I ordered replacement capacitors and want to try to rescue this board. I don't know if this board works, but in the current state, I do not want to risk switching it on. This is the Gigabyte 7N400 Pro 2. In the intro, you have seen me washing this board with water, soap and a brush. The board dried for about 24 hours. Depending on the climate, a longer drying period may be required. Best is to check the board thoroughly and make sure that it is dry before powering it on. But before we can do that, I have to replace all the capacitors that are leaking or are bulging at the top. There are quite a few of them. Now a warning from my side. I have very average equipment to do such work. But here is what worked best for me. First, I add a bit of fresh solder. Then I grab the capacitor and slowly pull it from side to side along its legs until it's freed from the board. Most of the time, I can remove a capacitor with 3 or 4 swings. It depends a bit on the thickness of the capacitor legs. Other components around the capacitor may also make it more difficult to move it from side to side. Those are 1000 microfarad capacitors, good for 6.3 volts. I wonder why so many of those failed on this board. Maybe the voltage they were exposed to was higher than they were rated for. Or, it could just have been excessive heat. Therefore, I'm going to replace them with higher rated capacitors at 16 volts. The new capacitors are a little bit taller than the original ones, but I don't think that they will cause any issues due to their height. Let me show you a full replacement of one of those capacitors. Finally, the board is ready to be tested. 
In total, I replaced 18 capacitors, which took me around 1 hour to complete. You may wonder why did I not replace all capacitors on this board. I made a mistake and did not order all values that are present on this board. Luckily, the remaining original capacitors seem to be in good condition. They also have a higher tolerance of 16 volts. I'll take my chances and try the board in its current condition. To test this socket A board, I will use an AMD Duron 1300. But before I drop the CPU into the socket, I have to show it to you. When I first saw the CPU, I did not expect it to be alive. Look at that. A lot of broken edges and the silicon die looks very brittle. It almost feels like the rest of the die wants to fall off too. Believe it or not, this CPU actually works. We will use it to test this gigabyte board. Let's put the system together and see if we can enter the BIOS. Yay, the board is alive! And we have a successful post. Now I have a socket A board that supports a lot of new CPUs as well as an HEP board that I can use to test this Radeon 9700 Pro with. If you don't want to miss this video, please subscribe to my channel so you can get updates whenever I upload new content. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks for watching and I will see you in one of my other videos.